So we're going to take a look at, oh, jeez, I have no music. Oh, my God, I'm such a, I'm so unprofessional. <laughs> we're we're going to take a look at a 4-1 trolls list that happened, that concluded, I guess, like, so Matt, I'm joined by Matt, who's playing, who played a 4-1 trolls list. We'll have a look at here in a sec. But the tournament must have ended, like, now. Um, Three hours ago. Yeah, I right. just got the train home and <laughs> literally just eating my dinner. <laughs> but before we get into it, sponsors, Baron of Dice, Yvarian, Wah. Okay, so let's have a look. So this tournament took place in the UK. This was yeah. uh, Age of Sigmar 4 Boot Camp 1 uh, in good old Great Britain and England. Um, <laughs> so 20 players, so not like a huge showing or whatever, like not a huge tournament, or yeah. right? But I, uh, I was super fascinated with your list here because oops, it's, uh, it's not what you would normally anticipate from like a, like a troll player. <laughs> Right, so I'll just right. go over it really quick here. Sorry. So, uh, spell lower, lower the clammy damp with uh, primal energy. We have uh, Kragnos as the general with a uh, unit of rocket trogoths, two times their five, right? Spider riders. And then a regiment two, we have Trog with a dank hole trog boss with loon touched and the clammy cowl. And then two more units of three rockets. So, overall, it's three times three rockets, trug, dank hold. Kragnos. That's the whole list, hey? <laughs> That's everyone. <laughs> 19, 20, at two drop. So, here's a question for you. Like, sure. uh, did you go first every turn? Mm, no, I game? usually went second. Oh, you chose uh, to go second? For sh Well, for sure. Because I think um, it's the um, making your opponent go first, uh, they have a lot less tactics they can choose. The turn one tactics are fairly difficult. And usually you go for seize the center turn one, but uh, with Kragnos giving 3d6 charge, it's very easy to deny that um, because you can't be in combat with seize the center, so you just send in a unit of rockets, and the opponents, you know, it, they struggle for battle tactics. And then it always, I think you want to be one ahead in fourth because one point you, ahead. Um, sorry. Uh, you always want to be going second as much as possible because it opens the opportunity for the double if you need it. Um, it also opens the underdog to... control too. Yeah, exactly. So, I think going second is better unless you really want to get in there straight away. It's funny um, because we were talking about this all like for the past few days about like going first mm -hmm. versus going second. Um, how about battle tactics? Well, actually, here's you know let, let's start closer to the beginning. Why did you decide to run such an elite <laughs> troll list to begin with? So I used to play Big Wog, mm -hmm. um, no longer. Um, so my second edition uh, army was Trolls. I it's right at the start of the edition, and I was just like, I'm gonna learn the game with something simple. So I picked up my Trolls. I had two practice games before the tournament with Trolls and then one with Carriage On. Uh, I enjoyed them. And it's not that the Trolls are pretty reliable uh, in terms of, yeah, well, the Rock Guts, very difficult to kill. And yeah. when they're coming back as well, it doesn't actually feel too elite, in my opinion. Well, I mean, you're two drops and one, oh, yeah. two, like it's, it's it, so you're saying it doesn't feel super elite. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah, go ahead. But why Kragnos? Oh, because he's the lad. But Because uh... <laughs> he's the lad. <laughs> um, no, passive. The area of effect 3d6 uh, counter charge has so much um, utility in denying tactics uh, and just getting in the way. Counter charge is amazing because you can just get... Kragnos himself isn't doing it, but the rock guts, they're really annoying to kill. They do okay damage. Um... And also, it just incredibly adds to the speed of the army, because trolls aren't the fastest, no. but when you can 3d6 charge on the enemy turn, and then again on your turn, you're getting up the board fairly quickly. What were your favorite command points? Like, what did you spend oh. your command points on? <laughs> Definitely, I was counter-charging probably almost every turn, like 75% of turns I was probably counter-charging. Ran um, right from turn one, hey? Oh yeah. So like because, you said, you're yeah, going like, second, and I assume that you put like a uh, a unit of rockets like on the line at least one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and then if the they move into in the middle, middle, like with seize yeah. the center, mm -hmm. if if they're playing seize the center and they're trying to get two units within three inches, 
Uh, yes. Assuming you're nine inch inches charge. away from the center, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 12 inch charge on 3d6. Which is, yeah, fairly. I don't think I've. Uh, I think every time sees the center, I hit it. But yeah, average is 10.5, so it's not too much of an S to get to 12. Yeah, I mean, it's you have to roll a little bit better than you normally yeah. would, right? But just by a little bit. It's like 45, I'm guessing here. Exactly. But like 45% yeah. of the time, you're going to make it every time. Mm hmm. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, awesome. And like, what kind of tactics were you scoring? Um, so the reason the spider eyes are in the list is because I need something to just take the flanks. So they were, yeah. most games they're doing take the flanks. Um, the do not waver, I think it's called. You fight with two and not die. Um, that's fairly easy with rock guts. Sure. They don't die. Because they don't the die. Only, the only game that came into contention uh, in my fifth round, I played against Cities of Sigma, and when they can shoot on your turn, uh, it's you know I've got to make sure none of my units get destroyed. And I actually went for that turn one uh, in that game, and yeah. just about managed to pull it off. Um, in terms of the destruction one, the silly charge one, time to get stuck in, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. um, never even considered it. Well, not probably not in this in this list. Yeah. It's I think but, it's uh, it's probably the hardest destruction mm -hmm. tactic. Like including oh, yeah. the six universals of all of our tactics, it's probably the Except, hardest yeah. one to do. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, cunning approach with rock guts. I I used it twice this tournament uh, because the rock guts are getting stuck in combats, and then it's pretty easy to charge someone else in and get a kill. For sure. So yeah, cunning approach. I rate. The other one, yeah, been it. <laughs> Would you make any changes to this list, like having now played it for a bit, or or are you kind of happy if you're gonna do like a Kragnos rock gut counter charge list? Is this what you would take every time? Uh, I don't think so. So, I I'm trying to remember. Trog for starters is not consistent enough for me. Um, he rolls three dice, but like I think the two you want is the ward and the plus one attacks, because. Uh, one is damage. The rend is okay, but you know we're already on rend. Pretty good rend already. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not consistent enough. I think the entire tournament, I maybe rolled the plus one attack once. Um, and also, with the five up ward being on there, Trug isn't actually that tanky unless he has that five up ward. But at that point, he's not buffing his friends, and it's. I guess he's quite a few wounds, but. <laughs> For what is he like 300 points? Yeah, 320. 360. Oh, 360. Um, yeah, I mean, he's he has a lot of points. I'm I just looking at his horse scroll right now. I don't think he pulled his weight. Um, because he either dies really quickly because he's not got the wards, or yeah, the only real good thing is he's five on an objective, but you know, six rock gut is well, so a dank hold is five on an objective too. Yeah, I think I was thinking about swapping Trub for just six more rock gut and having a big bruiser unit. Um, Deckhold? Uh, I don't know. Deckhold, wait yeah. and smash is pretty good. Like being able oh, to I... like move around your opponent and get into their casters and stuff or their priests feels pretty good. I'm a big yeah, fan maybe. of the Deckhold. And he's so cheap. He's 180 points. And he's oh, got, okay, yeah. and he moves six inches, like the wait and smash rampage. It's just mm -hmm. you move six inches. So you could, yeah, you could get a dank or more rock gut. The problem becomes, I think I really want to be two drops, and if I start adding too many units, it, it goes up. Sure. Would you keep hard. the uh, the troll boss, like the trog boss? So I was just thinking about that as well. Um, his main job this entire tournament is to be a wizard, and I'm like, why why am I paying this many points for a wizard to sit at the back? Um, because in my practice games, I got him in and got the plus one attacks. But again, I think this entire tournament, he never gave plus one attacks to his friends. He went into combat maybe twice and failed the free up. So I don't think he's consistent enough for me either. Um, and I was just looking, he's the same points as Scragrot. Um, and just being able to... Um, is Scragrot two cast, plus one? Yeah, he's uh, not plus one, but he's two cast. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's an extra cast in the list. And... Um, counter spell teleport is so amazing when you've also got 3d6 counter charge that you know i, I want to be casting that a lot um and 
I think the Scragrot is probably more useful than the Trog Boss, because like I say, Trog most of the time Trog Boss is just sat at the back casting spells. Well, the thing with Scragrot too is that he's two casts for one drop. Like, that has a lot yeah. of value right now. Yeah, exactly. Right? So, being able to go like, yeah. I mean, um, if I was going to look at the list, so if you're dropping Trug for 360, uh, yeah. and you're dropping the Trog Boss, mm -hmm. and then what? I would probably... I would, next game I'll try is bring in Scragrot and then six Rocket, and I think that'll still fit in two drop. Yeah, and you could also do um, Bounders instead of Spiders. If I can upgrade them, sure. Yeah, why not? Because they're pretty slappy. Yeah, and they're they're ten points uh, more. What's their movement like? Uh, I think it's D six plus seven. Uh. Yeah, so they're almost as fast as spiders anyway, so yeah. No, D6 plus 6. Are spiders 12? 10. Oh, they're, then they're faster than spiders. Mm -hmm. Right? Your average is going to be like... Wow. On average, yeah, but... Gotta have that consistency. That's true. Also, it's also crazy that spiders are controlled too. <laughs> they're controlled too? Yeah, a lot of cavalry is controlled too now. Okay. Oh, they are controlled too. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so as a unit, they're 10 control. Exactly, yeah. So, you know, those guys just chilling to deny take their land or just like respawning from the Loon Shrine onto an objective, it's actually a, a decent amount of control. Yeah, it's pretty good. Their damage is gonna be way shorter than Oh yeah, they're not they're not fighting. <laughs> they're not they're not there to fight, no. They're not they're there to run around the sides. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Any uh any like pointers or any tips for all the Gits players out there looking at this and thinking about list construction or, or gameplay or anything? Anything Anything that you've um, learned? Because like we're all pretty much brand new to fourth and something in my last game that I thought because turn one tactics are so difficult to do. Um, there's a tactic called attack on two fronts yep. where you have to take an objective. Uh, you have to hold one and then also take one from an opponent. So you have to take two. And actually thinking about not deploying on your home objective because then you sure. can take that on your first turn. Um, and then go take one off your opponent if you force them to go first. Um, I don't think it's it's maybe not the play in battle plans where you have to hold more, uh, but there's two in the pack. Uh, it's Battle for the Pass, I can't remember what the other one's called, but the ones where it's not about holding more, it's like the two points for the flanks, five for the enemy. Yeah, and I sure. Think, I think for those ones, you always want to not deploy on your objective. Right, so you can you can pick either them. left or right, take it from your opponent, yeah, and then just exactly. tow on your home. Exactly. Um, in terms of gits of general, I don't. It probably doesn't fully uh, represent gits as a whole. Um, Cracknose is amazing, just for any destruction. Look, um, just again the passive three d six counter charge made a lot of the games. Um, trolls very tanky lots of healing um cry if we run into minus one to hit yeah the destruction's uh, <laughs> feeling that way in general right now yeah i think the only game i really ran into that was against nighthorn uh which that was my one loss of the tournament uh that was a struggle minus one to hit is brutal against all destruction armies like iron jaws yeah every, well except mm -hmm. for cruel boys cruel boys don't care about your minus one to hit <laughs> they really yeah. don't but uh, uh -huh. Iron Jaws, like, the whole army hits on fours. And if you can give a minus one to hit, it just destroys their damage. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how many dice you're throwing if, you know, you're hitting on fives. Yeah. I think Gits in general, uh, the counter spell Teleport is... Annoyingly, you have to be within 24 of the caster, I think. So yeah. it's not board wide. But um, uh, yeah, still, it's, it's, yeah, it's... For denying tactics, uh, it's great. I think... It was only one game I actually managed to score all five tactics. I think every other game I dropped one. See, to me, the more that people are dropping tactics, the more that I think that the double turn is alive and well. I right? think it is. Yeah. Well, the um, harder they are to score, the more you don't care about not scoring one in a round. True. Right. And, and if you're ahead, like if you're ahead, if you've scored, like, let's say it's, mm -hmm. you know, going into four and you've scored a, a tactic more than your opponent. It's mm -hmm. like, and then you can score on the primary much better if you double. It's mm -hmm. like, well, here we go. There's certainly some battle plans where, because we also played the Vice this weekend, which is the one where they move into the middle. Yes. And towards the end of that game, the double is just totally worth it to hold that exactly. central object. To hold the middle, yeah. 
Um, yeah, I think it's alive and well. I don't think it's like an auto thing that you do anymore, right? It's yeah. like you really have to think about doing it, and I think it'll be a high mm-hmm. skill play, but which it's, is a, it's not dead. Yeah. Again, which that's I think that's why second is probably going second in the battle round is probably better. Right, because taking a double well, it, and yeah. also like preventing the double as well. Yeah, exactly. Right, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, uh, I gotta. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I I appreciate yeah, it. You must be pretty exhausted after <laughs> after a two day tournament, right? Oh, I'm I'm excited. I've got another game tomorrow. I'm just <laughs> excited to play lots of games before I go away for the summer. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, good luck, and uh, let me know how it goes. Cool. Yeah. Nice to speak to you. Yeah, man. For sure. Take care. That was Matt. He's in the Discord. You want to ask him questions about his list? You want him to ask him questions about how to play Gits? Like, subscribe. Wow.